day everyone and welcome to this channel if you are new here please like and subscribe and also click the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video In this video, I'm going to show you the function of each part of this instrument. Let us begin with the display. The function of the display is to show you your readings. Take for example, if you will measure the voltage of an AC outlet or measure the resistance of the resistor. And aside from that, the mode of the instrument is also being displayed here so in this example you can see here DC so that means the mode is in DC and later in this video I'm going to show you also how to change the mode of this instrument and also what is being shown in the display is the negative sign so if you happen to invert the two test probes here and when you measure the voltage of a certain dry cell then it will indicate a negative sign and also what is being shown in the display is the range of the instrument so in this example it is set to auto and also what is being displayed here is the unit of your measurement so since you adjusted it to voltage then your unit here will be uh, in volts also and also if this instrument is in low battery you can see here a battery sign so that is uh, the main function of this of this uh, display to display the readings as well as the modes and these other functions just below the display are the four buttons so starting from left you have here we have here the first button which is the mode button the function of the mode button is to change the mode of the instrument from AC to DC okay so if you you will measure the voltage of a dry cell or a battery so you will set the mode to DC and if you want to measure the voltage of the AC outlet then you will uh, press this to change the mode to AC so this is the main that that this is the main function of the mode button here next to the mode button is the range button now the function of the range button is to change the range of this instrument and in this particular setting it is marked auto so that means uh, the instrument is set to auto range if you want to make it manual just press this once and this is now in manual mode all right the next button is the hold button so if you want to display the readings or the reading of what you measured and then you want to hold it you just uh, press this button so let me show you how so i have here I have here a dry cell and let us uh, try to insert uh, the test probes so that we can uh, check the voltage all right and then let's try to measure the, the voltage of the battery okay all right 
so let's try to check on the reading of course you are going to put it in DC mode since we are measuring a dry cell all right okay you can see that the reading is 6.85 so if you want to hold the reading just press hold and even if you remove the test probes from the battery you still can see the reading so this is the function of the hold button and the last button is the rel button rel stands for relative so the function of this button is if you want to compare a certain measurement to a reference measurement then you are going to use this button and um, in my experience uh, I seldom use this button since if I want to compare a certain reading no, to a reference reading I will just write it on a piece of paper because um, to my understanding this involves a complicated uh, method in we are going to use this and just below the buttons is the selector switch okay sometimes this is called uh, the selector knob and the function of this switch or knob uh, is basically to turn on this instrument and aside from that it is also used to change the function of the meter so take for example if you are going to measure the voltage of a resistor then the selector knob is used to set the instrument to the mode, uh, ohmmeter position so ohms stands for I mean Omega stands for ohms alright so but if you are going to measure the voltage of a dry cell such as like this so all you have to do is turn the selector switch to the voltage position or voltage function so this is the this is the function of the selector switch okay and uh, in my upcoming videos I will also show you how uh, to measure uh, a dry cell or a battery and a resistor and just below the selector switch you can uh, find the three input jacks so starting from the middle you can see here uh, the common input jack wherein uh, you will insert the black test probe okay and on the right most is for the uh, positive or red um, test probe you can see it is being marked with V or Omega alright so let's try to insert the test probes so if you are going to measure uh, voltage and resistance this is where you will insert your test probes but if uh, you will measure the current of a particular circuit then you will place the red test probe here all right so the last uh, part of this instrument uh, which is also common to an al analog multimeter is the test probe okay so actually there are two test probes one is colored uh, black for carbon or negative and the red one is for positive okay the function of this uh, 
test probe is uh, for you to make a, a connection from what is being measured to the instrument okay there you have it you have just seen the functions of each part of a digital multimeter thank you for watching and see you in my upcoming videos goodbye Thank you.